Hey guys, it's Christina here again, and I'm guessing that you guys can see that I cut all of my hair off. I probably cut, I think, like, I don't know, probably like 10 inches off of it. I mean, it's like really, really short, and now I'm having a hard time figuring out what to do with it, but hopefully it'll grow back soon. Um, anyways, okay, so today's video is hair care and skin care products that I've used up, um, I have been using a lot of stuff lately, just trying to get rid of stuff, um, not rid of stuff, but just use up stuff that I already had. I also have a bunch of, well not a bunch, but some makeup products that I kind of want to do too, so I think I'm going to do those as two separate videos. So let me get started with the skincare slash hair care, um, because I don't want this video to go over ten minutes, so. Alright. I have like this big old bag, Sephora bag full of stuff, and then I also have stuff scattered all over my desk. So. First, to start off, I went through three palettes. I went through one, yes, to tomatoes, which was absolutely horrible, and I would never repurchase this. And then I went through two, yes, to carrots, which I actually really do like. Um, oh, these are recyclable. Okay, so I'm going to put that in the recycle bin. Um, I just like these um, at nighttime. I take off my makeup. Sometimes I don't want to wash my face. I mean, I usually do. But if I don't, I'll just, like, take off my eye makeup with um, an eye makeup remover and then just kind of rub this all over my face, and it kind of gets off all of the grime from the day. Or sometimes in the morning, I'll use it to, like, refresh my face. So I really, really like these. Um, okay. I went through an entire bottle of hydrogen peroxide. This is multi-purpose, multi-use. Um, I put it on my ears sometimes when they're bothering me. All kinds of different things that you can use for this. So, um, I went through a shower gel, the Twisted Peppermint again. I went through a bottle of that. And the reason there's no cap is because I use one of those pumps that I bought separately at Bath, Bath and Body Works. Oh, love the way it smells. It's like vanilla and peppermint mixed together. I went through an entire box of the 170 Q-tip Precision Tips, which are the pointed side on both sides. I absolutely love these. They're really good for, like, smudging or if you have any kind of smudges to get rid of real quick. Um, I would definitely repurchase that. Let's see. I went through a bottle of Sebastian Drench Shampoo. This is one of my favorite shampoos. It makes my hair soft and luxurious and it kind of cuts down on the frizz when I dry it, so I really, really like this shampoo. I went through another one of these Degree Expert Protection 24-Hour Motion Sense deodorants. For some reason, I can't seem to find this in the full size, but maybe I'm just not looking at, for it at the right time. But this is always at my local Target when I need to travel and just get a quick deodorant. But this is my favorite deodorant at this point. I finally finished the Happy Birthday Beautiful that I got in for my birthday, like, not this year, but the last year, um, I didn't open it, so I used it all at the same time, and it's just the vanilla cupcake, sorry, vanilla birthday cake, um, scent from Philosophy. You think I would know this since I actually used to sell Philosophy products. Just smells like, seriously, like vanilla birthday cake. Um, I got, I went through a sample size of the Paris Amour by Bath & Body Works. It's lovely. It smells like strawberries and champagne. Freaking love this. My favorite scent ever. I went through a mini size of the official, I have no idea, the Lancome eye makeup remover. And this one is just for, it's not, it's gentle eye makeup remover. It's not just the regular remover. Um, and I, I've had both over the years and I like both of them. They don't burn or anything. I went through through three tubes of toothpaste that I was just kind of like working on. This is the Colgate Sparkling White Mint Zing. Tasted like mint. It was alright. Um, my two favorites are this Optic White, which actually does kind of whiten my teeth a little bit. I went through a sample, not a sample, I'm sorry, a travel size and then a regular size. And then my other favorite is the Colgate Total, which is what I'm using right now. Um... I went through a Sally Hansen uh, Mega Shine Extended Wearproof Top Coat. Loved this stuff. I think the rest of that stuff is makeup products. So I'm just going to... Oh, I went through another Colgate Sensitive Enamel Protect Toothpaste. Eh, I didn't see a difference in my enamel. 
or anything like that. Okay, the rest is makeup, so I'm going to put that down on the side. Okay, I went through a... I don't even know how to say this name. It's a Body Glaze by J-A-Q-U-A. It's in Buttercream Frosting. I've had this for probably five years, and it was um, a dry oil mist, but I stopped using it as that and just kind of used it as a bath oil, and oh my gosh, it made my bath so... Um, sumptuous and just like slippery and my skin was so moisturized when I got out of the bathtub. I absolutely love this. I don't know if they sell this anymore. Like I said, I have had this for years, but um, I really, really liked it. And it is six fluid ounces. Um, a hair care product. I've, I've had this for probably three years. It took me that long to go through it. It's the Super, Super Skinny Serum by Paul Mitchell. And I really, really liked this. It says smooths and conditions. It just helped with um, defrizzing my hair. And anytime I would flat iron it, it would make it like really, really straight. So I really, really liked this. But I noticed that it kind of dried out my hair a little bit. So I think I'm not going to repurchase this for a while. Um, I went through a few of these um, hand moisturizing soaps, but I only saved one of them, like an idiot kind of, sorry. Um, the vanilla berry sorbet, and I just remember a berry scent. I don't remember a vanilla one, but this one was really nice, and it was in a hot pink. It was hot pink, so, you know, I can't go wrong with hot pink. I went through a bubble bath. This is from Victoria's Secret. I don't think that they sell this one anymore. It's called Lather Me With Love, and it's 16 ounces. I mean, this thing is huge. Um, there's a little bit of water left where I tried to get all of it out. I ran out of this last night. I absolutely love this. this. is very luxurious. It's my favorite, sorry, my favorite bubble bath. And Victoria, not Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works has something very similar to it that I bought in the Paris Amour scent. So I'm not going to repurchase this one. I've already purchased the Paris Amour one. I think I got it for free or something with one of the, if you spend $10, you get a free item. So I'm going to try that one out and see if it compares. But the ingredients and the consistency were very, very similar. So um, it smelled like strawberries and champagne. Oh, it just smelled amazing. You could also use it as a body wash, but I mean, this thing took me three years to go through, and I take a lot of baths, so a little goes a long way with this stuff. Okay, um, just a few more items. I went through this. This is a blast from the past. I'm sure you guys know. I bought this at a semi-annual sale um, foam burst body wash and cucumber melon. I don't even think they sell this fragrance anymore or this packaging. It was like the foamy bath wash, and... It dries my skin out as a bath wash, but so I started using it because it really foams up and it's really bubbly. So I started using it as a bubble bath and I really, really liked it. Um, so I would kind of mix the two together and this one like foams like crazy. It's so much fun because it's just like bubbles, bubbles, bubbles everywhere. Um, I went through a Listerine Cool Mint in the one point in the pint size. Um, I've since repurchased. I've used this for like 15 years. Um, every day. Um, I've since purchased at Costco. You can get the two really big ones for almost the price of like two of these. So I think it was like $8. I could be wrong that I got two of the big ones. So I got one from me and one from my roommate. So we both really, really like the cool mint taste or scent or flavor, I guess. It's a flavor. Um, okay. And then two perfumes that I have loved for years and I finally got through them. The first one is by Cacherelle. It's called Amora Amora. I saw it the other day at TJ Maxx. I can't even explain the scent because I'm not really good at explaining scents and it doesn't say anything on the back. It just smelled really good and I, I want to say it had like a floral like kind of like berry-ish scent. I, that's what I want to say and it was amazing and I loved it. I don't know if I'll repurchase because I still have so many different perfumes that I really really need to use up and then this one Valentino Rock and Rose has been discontinued. It's my absolute favorite perfume other than Viva La Juicy, which I still have plenty of. This I would definitely repurchase because I can't find it anywhere. So if you guys see it anymore, please let me know. I used to see it at Nordstrom Rack all the time and I haven't seen it in probably six months and I really wish I would have purchased it. So anyways, this one smells amazing. It's just like sweet and floral and just perfect. It's like the perfect fragrance for any season for me. It's like my signature go-to scent and Unfortunately, I no longer have it. All right, that is it for the skincare and kind of like body, sorry, skincare and body care and mouth care that I've gone through. Um, I will also do a makeup one that's kind of going to be small. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.